डीओ कैविटी एंड आई एम डूइंग रूट कनाल इन दिस टूट आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई रबर डैम दिस इज अ रबर डैम शीट विच आई हैव कट इट आउट ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन ग्लव नो ऑन वी पुट राइट एंड लेफ्ट टू नो विच इज द राइट साइड ऑफ द पेशेंट एंड विच इज द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द पेशेंट and this is the upper side now we roughly divide the tooth mentally into four parts four quadrants and put a dot right in the middle then we draw the lower jaw mind you the circle i am drawing is narrow and it is not wide as is normally depicted so it's essential to draw this circle and mark the tooth so this is 4 5 rubber dam punch you can see the rubber dam punch we have got five holes one then two three four and the biggest is five The biggest is meant for large molars, molars. Then they are from premolars, and this is smallest one is for the incisors. Now we see that from the previous punch, if there is some tag of the rubber dam remaining, we just remove it so that the punch that you do is neat. Now we break the second hole in front of the punch. and here as i told you we have marked on 4 5 so we just take it there and we do punch we just pick it up and now you can see this the punch clean to a this is the horizontal bar these are the wings and these go around the cingulum of the tooth so what we do is we place the horizontal bar below the rubber dam sheet and slowly spread it so that the horizontal bar is visible now we turn the rubber dam sheet i just do it for you like this I'm doing it very slowly so that you can grasp now you see the two holes now in the two uh, uh, holes we put the rubber dam forceps strong and we can expand and then it can clamp and show you below the teeth and leave it see that it's not pinching on the gum and we can also always ask the patient is it pinching on the gum sir no sir she says no so i'm safe after this it is turned and we look for the upper side first as as i told you and right comes on the right side of the patient and left comes on the left side of the patient after this we make a little stretch and the with the help of plastic instrument we slip this the wings of the clamp similarly on the other side right and for example there is a gap here so we can lift it up or do it like this so that it covers Now after this, we have got rubber dam frame. This is the rubber dam frame. This is put below the rubber dam and parallel to the upper lip. It's very essential. Parallel to the upper lip. <coughs> Now after putting the upper lip, we just estimate. which part of the rubber dam comes in line with the 
upper and we leave the other one. Then we do a bilateral stretch on the right and the left side and hook and leave it. Similarly now we do the lower. And you see now the whole thing is ready. You put the forceps prongs into the eyes of the rubber dam clip and just, just stretch it.